There's an awesome video clip going around right now. Chris Jericho showed him in Japan once again. Uh, over the weekend, uh, Naito was attacked by Chris Jericho. After Naito's match, he was walking to the back. And, you know, he was slapping high fives, you know, with the fans. And they are giving slaps. And a fan, quote unquote, you know, grabbed him, started attacking him, had a mask on. It was Jericho. You know, people were asking why was Jericho wearing lipstick and makeup. It was, you know, it was, it was interesting. Yeah, but, it was weird. Yeah. 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 But they have footage of after the beatdown and Jericho is cursing in the back and throwing things around in the Japanese press. I mean, that's one thing I love about the Japanese storylines. You know, they're uncensored. You know, yeah. you hear Jericho, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you, you piece of shit, and this is that. And they don't censor nothing out. And it, and it feels real. It feels like there's legitimate dissension. And Naito and Jericho are going to be facing each other June 9th at New Japan Pro Wrestling's Dominion. So Jericho worked us and lied to us again because he said he had no plans on going back to uh, Japan in an interview recently. Listen, I, I have said this before, and I will keep saying it. I won't do it every week to annoy people. But for anybody out there that is enjoying Jericho's work, whether it's against Omega, whether it's online, whether it's, you know, with Naito now, whether he does some appearances with WWE, really, really, really enjoy it. Treat Jericho right. I know this is going to sound fucked up, but take the most, you know, precious relative of your family who is alive. Mother, father, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, best friend or something. And just think of them as they're 95 years old. All right. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, is that when someone, just like my mom now, she's not in the greatest of health. You're always right. hearing me say to you, oh, in two weeks, I'm going to take off because I'm going to spend, you know, a couple of days right. over there, which is actually happening. Just programming though for everyone. Next right. Monday, you will not be on. You're having right. some surgery on your mouth. Yes, it's definitely next Monday. I am out. Yes, yes, just for that day. Mm -hmm. So so it'll probably be Mish and I or maybe Mish, Joey Numbers and I or, you know, right. so it'll be one of that variation. The following week I will be taking off and I'm going to be spending with family. But getting back to Jericho, treat Jericho right now as if, you know, you're with one, your most beloved relative who is really up there in age. And when you are in that mode you want to really cherish every little bit about that person because before you know it, they can be gone. And and with Jericho, you got to understand, you know, he's not going to wrestle forever. You he's going to be four, he's going to be forty eight. Yeah, he's going to be forty eight. And this guy, he has kept himself in phenomenal shape, and he has had an illustrious career. But who knows how many more years are left? And, right. he, and even if he is physically able to wrestle five more years, six more years, which would put him in his mid-50s, you know, one serious leg injury, a muscle right. tear, could just end his career. So yeah. believe me when I tell you, I'm not saying Jericho's going to die. I'm not saying, what I'm saying is, is that if you really are enjoying what Jericho is doing right now, really take it in, you know, drink it in, appreciate it, because five years from now, this guy may be retired. And then you're going to be like, fuck, man, I miss Jericho here. I wish he was back. I wish he could still do it. This is and that. Enjoy it while it lasts, because you don't know how many years he has left. I mean... It's, it's true. And with Jericho, you're really seeing something special, because he's older then Rob Van Dam and other guys like that. And those guys can't do a schedule like that anymore. Yeah. So Jericho is a very rare gem right now. Uh, at his age and the pace he's going in Japan, America, touring with Fozzie, being in WWE, being in the Rumble. I mean, this guy is uh, is phenomenal. I mean, listen, he's not elderly, but still, any other any other sport, DT, he wouldn't yeah. be doing this. I mean, I saw when I saw the match with Omega, I saw people. Oh, you know, he's he's got a little bit of uh, gut now and stuff like. You know he's, what? He's a little heavier. Yeah. You know what? At that fucking age, and he's still entertaining me, I think he has a right to have a couple of beers and maybe not fucking spend four hours in the gym every single day. Well, he's, he's not, not poor a lot of times. not the healthiest lifestyle. No, no. And he's not, you know, it's not like Jake Roberts when he was 320 pounds. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, he's got a little, a couple of pounds. So what? Yeah. Seriously. 
So what? Just like I said, you know, Paige, you know, here's a public service announcement and a reminder. She's not going to be 19 years old forever. You know, you get in your mid-20s, your 30s, your face starts to change a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. she, sure, she could probably get some plastic surgery. She doesn't need it. You know, she's fine. I mean, you know, you, you want to keep this you know, a certain look about someone forever. And it's just not the case. And people making fun of a face and stuff like that. I don't know. I just, I'm not, I'm not a PC person, but man, you know, if you're that infatuated with, you know, the way that she looked, go whack off the pictures of her from five years ago. Yeah. That's how I look at it.